So one of the unique things that the Corbel solution allows you to do is it can actually, uh, we can actually add threat intelligence feeds uh, on top of the packet data. And what that means is that uh, we ship with uh, emerging threats. Uh, we also can include ISI partners. There's, we can also include any sticks or taxi compliant uh, feed out there. What this does is it turns that packet analytic data into indicators. I can actually begin to understand those patterns in my data center, uh, the threats of those patterns. And then what we do is we put a score um, on those indicators and I get uh, this view, which gives me the highest risk user authentication that's happening inside of my data center. I also get the highest risk host in the, the data center itself. So I can see uh, infected uh, servers, infected entities within that, uh, that, that, that data center. Here is a list of all the different indicators that we kind of see there. And I can drill down into any one of these or I can uh, myself um, sort of bring to the top or ignore um, indicators that, that I care about. But let me show you what happens if we drill down into this. So I'm, at, so I'm saying to the tool set, listen, I see this high risk user. Uh, where was this user and what types of communication uh, was happening uh, because of this user login? So what this view is uh, right here, if we can uh, scroll down a little bit, is I get a, a list of all the different uh, conversations that I, that I can see for this particular user. And so there's several things that I can, I can kind of figure out from this, right? So I can see uh, them going to mail right here. I can see them coming out to getting some HTTP data right here. There's some SMB data um, in, in here as well that I can kind of see. This is a complete accounting of what that um, user uh, did. And one of the things that we can begin to do, because I have the packet data underneath, underneath this, there are some interesting things that I can get. One of them is to basically download the file. So artifact extraction, I can actually download the file that that person was downloading. And then I can send that up to Wildfire and say, hey, what do you know about this file? Or I can send this to my sandbox um, in there, or maybe I just want to see what the heck they were doing. Um, I can begin to grab that, that file and, and, and manipulate that file. There's also several things that I can do. I do have some integration with other sort of security vendors that are out there. Um, so for Carbon Black, for endpoint monitoring, um, I can start an investigation. So again, the idea there is that, uh, you know, from the data center perspective, I can kind of grab some data off of the uh, an agent, if you will, um, and see what's happening from the process level on, on the OS. And then, you know, of course, uh, we're, we're here to talk about our integration with, um, with LiveNX, and so we certainly can do that as well. So one of the things that I really can't see very well with the Corbel solution is what's happening in the branch on that, uh, that, per, that person's PC. So if, for example, mal malware was infected on, a, on somebody's laptop in, in a branch location, for example, and that malware was connecting through the internet out to uh, China or Russia or some other sort of known threat, uh, I don't necessarily see that. So I need to rely on um, LiveNX to sort of complete the picture, if you will, and tell me what's happening in, in those views. So again, as we, as we drill down into a live and X, and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll paint this again, just so you guys can see um, you know, what, what, what happens here. You know, I get a, a topology view, right, of uh, the connected flows and things that that person is, is talking out into. Now, I might wanna do a couple of different things here uh, instead of just sort of looking at the traffic itself. So I might want to actually begin to sort of um, walk, if you will, uh, this tree and be able to see exactly who's connected to, to what. So for example, if I'm looking at this and I'm looking at, for example, this uh, Outlook web service, maybe the malware did come from, you know, from an email, um, uh, 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 an email that came down to their desktop, uh, or maybe there is an SSH session in here that um, I see connecting out to um, a, a server that really shouldn't have, out, have, have in there. I can actually begin to sort of um, filter this for that. So if I look at, for example, let's say this Outlook web service is the application that is sort of the transport, if you will, of that malware. I can then begin to sort of uh, repaint uh, this view and I can say, hey, uh, just show me from this infected PC um, all of the other uh, uh, machines that are communicating uh, using that same protocol that I've deemed as uh, being a suspect here. And then we can begin to sort of see uh, those views on there. I can also, if I want to, although it won't be interesting if I, if I click on this guy, but I can actually re-center, uh, re, uh, if you will, the IP address. So for example, if I wanted to recenter this IP address and say, okay, what's coming from this IP address, um, I can do that. I think this one doesn't have anything uh, basically out there. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, pull this out. Um, so I, I, don't, I actually don't see uh, anything downstream from that particular um, IP address, but we can sort of um, you know, get those type of views. So, 
if I see something interesting in here, I think again, one of the nice things that I would probably do is I would say, um, hey John, what, how can you characterize for me in the Live and X product, you know, that client PC in the branch, what types of reports can you do that shows me exactly what, the, what that thing has been up to over the last several hours or last several weeks? So from the Live and X perspective, you know, we can provide you situational awareness from a cyber perspective, you know, what's happening. So this is all the traffic and I'm going to enter one of the um, IP addresses. But before I do that, you know, we do have a big data backend to be able to, you know, absorb, you know, millions of flows, you know, billions per day. And this is all the different traffic within a certain period of time. But we have four patents in this area of, you know, how do you analyze and visualize and including a machine learning backend to like be able to show you the pertinent information. Now I'm, I'm gonna enter this specific IP address. And since we have a big data backend, we can store all the raw flow information so we don't lose any granularity. And we do it very in a very compact and efficient format. So you can save this for months, years, if you wanted to. So this is that particular IP address that Scott was looking at. And we could look at it from the data center side coming back and through the MPLS cloud into the Austin site. And we can actually see uh, the PC generating that traffic as well. And you can right off the bat, you know, do some reports off of this. So I can look at the address pairs and then I can see, you know, what countries it's uh, going to and where it's sourced from, uh, what are the different uh, parameters it's using. But I can pivot this to look at it from like an application perspective if I wanted to. And you can see all the different dimensions that we provide. And you can drill down into any of these and we can give you all the raw granular information that you want. But one of the interesting things you can do is we can look at this in a real time view, what's happening within this device. So this is all the different um, applications and traffic flow going through the device. It updates every 10 seconds. But I'm gonna look at only that particular IP address, for example. So this is that IP address in question. We're looking at it from an application perspective, looking at it from the IP address uh, perspective. And for forensic analysis, you know, we could go to the playback view and we could go back to any point in time and then we can play this to see what the actual behavior of this is. So I have this uh, IP address entered and I'm gonna play this. So we could look at it from an IP address perspective and let it play. So it's talking to you know, different IP addresses over time and we're doing it in 30 second uh, frames, but we could do this in like a one hour frame. So you can imagine in, you know, uh, in a one minute period, you can see the whole entire day and see exactly you know, who did it talk to. And it could drill down into you know, more specific information as well. And then if you, for um, incident response per, uh, perspective, you know, if there is nefarious traffic and you needed to do some type of action, you know, we provide the capability to create ACLs right off of the, uh, the device as well. So if you wanted to block this on the firewall rules or ACL rules at the edge device, we can insert that in. We can also create an ACL and using a policy-based uh, route which we have an editor for to actually reroute that traffic to like a better sensor that you can analyze that nefarious traffic in more detail. You can also put it into the quality of service so that you can actually shape and delay that traffic. So you don't wanna let the attacker know that you're onto them, but at least delay it. So it gives you more time to understand the behavior and what they're really after. So it gives you a good perspective from the overall network View, you know what's happening and you can do exploratory analysis at scale over your entire network. 